Good evening, everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. It's We're going to be doing the second episode in the mini-series that we're running, a six-episode mini-series called Nomads, which will come out every Tuesday night for the next... Well, I know another four weeks after this one. So this will be the second episode. And what this basically is about is those musicians that are kind of being all over the place, playing on a lot of stuff, uh, playing, you know, with some bands, playing on their own, playing with uh, doing lots of session stuff. In some cases, going out live with the band, sometimes just playing on the albums, all kinds of different things. And a combination of all that stuff. And we're just going to talk about these six artists. And today I've chosen a drummer, being being somewhat of a drummer myself, uh, Jeff Baccaro. Yes, Jeff Baccaro of the Toto fame, of course. That's where he got his fame. That's where most people kind of know him from. Although, to be honest with you, this guy's probably played on... Probably played on more albums in the 70s than just about anybody else. Like, there's literally hundreds of albums this guy's been on uh, for so many different bands. I could spend literally the entire episode just reciting every single band he's played on. But I'm not going to do that. I'll give you some of the ones I think that are more relevant to us and to uh, this channel. So he's played, and they'll give you a couple of other bigger names too that may be not relevant to us, but just to show you uh, his versatility as well. So George Benson, he's played with George Benson. He's played with Eric Clapton. He's played with the Dire Straits, David Gilmour, Elton John, Greg Lake, Paul McCartney, Pink Floyd, the Bee Gees, Bruce Springsteen, Steely Dan, Joe Walsh, and four tracks on the Thriller album by Michael Jackson, biggest album in history probably. Clatu, Paul Simon, Roger Hodgson. And he got his start playing with Sonny and Cher. That's where he did his first kind of gig, playing on their touring band back in 1971. So he's been act he was active from 1971 till his death in 1992. So about 21 years, but played on... A multitude of albums. I could uh, literally list them all, but you can go look it up if, if, if you really need to know everybody he's played with. Those are the ones that I thought were relevant. I wanted to show you that he had played with some jazz. He played on some disco albums. He played with some um, rock and roll. He played with some progressive people. He played with you know, just about every style of music. He was a consummate drummer and well sought after many people loved his uh, style and they sought him out i don't think there's a drummer that's been sought out more than him if i can think of one i'll let you know but i can't at the moment anyways he's played on a ton of stuff probably i'm guessing um most of that stuff was in the 70s not so much in the 80s maybe he would have continued playing who knows what would have happened he did play he was one of the original toto members along with his brother Steve um, and uh, Luke, Lukather and Patch. Those other those were the other ones that he also, they were the original four members of Toto. I think he played on their first eight studio albums and has been on a couple of their um, compilation albums and stuff since then. Um, but this is all post, post, uh, uh, what do they call it? Well, after he died, let's put it that way. Sorry, I couldn't, the word wasn't coming to my brain. Anyway, so he's played on... The, the point is he's played on a ton of stuff. And he's toured with some of these bands too. I think he's, I think he toured with Steely Dan. I know he toured with Sonny and Cher. I think he also toured with the Bee Gees. He may have toured with some of the other ones that I'm not thinking of. Um, but he's played on just about... I mean, he's played on a couple of hundred albums easily. So, and he played with a lot of people that um, that I tend to like as well. So, excellent, excellent drummer, uh, excellent musician, and uh, very versatile. I think to play in all these different styles and stuff. So, 
<clears throat> for me, this guy had to be on the list. Uh, you know, when I was when I was putting this together, this series together. Um, of course, Ben had already given me four or five guys, but I took three of his guys, um, the three I knew the best, and I added three of my own, and Jeff was one of the ones I added. I believe I added him for the very reason I said. He's, if there's anybody that follows this, this term of uh, nomads from wandering from album to album, it's definitely him. So... Anyways, I hope uh, I hope you like this episode of Nomads. Please hit the like and subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell. You can leave any comments about Jeff Pacaro or what we're doing here. Or if I've made an error somewhere, you can also let me know about that. That would be fine as well. It's uh, When you're doing something like this with dealing with so many different bands and, and information, you're bound to make a mistake or two. It's not my intention to do so, but it does happen. I get that. Um, there was one other thing. Yes, so we will be doing the next episode of Nomads of Gain, of course, next week on Tuesday night. This will be out a little bit later. Um, I didn't get home till later and I was starving, so I ate and was preparing my notes while I was eating. So it will come out if probably a little bit after 8 o'clock tonight, but not too late. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I look forward to seeing you again next week when we do another episode of Nomads. So take care and goodbye. Sorry. <laughs>